Hello everyone, welcome to video lecture series of computer organization and architecture. Today's topic is memory classification. In this video, I'll be talking about the main memory classification, semiconductor memories classification and what is memory? How can you understand it? Let us begin. First, when we are talking about the memory means in case of computer, the memory is the essential com component means memory is required for the normal functioning of the system and it is a kind of physical device. So memory is used to store information, to store data, to store uh, instructions. In the memory, information can be stored permanently or temporarily. So it is a collection of the storage units which stores binary information in the form of the bits. So the memory block is actually split into a smaller number of components and these components are known as the cells and each and every cell is having a unique address to store the data in the memory and the address range from 0 to memory size minus 1. How can we find out the address? Let me give you an example. Suppose we say that the computer memory is 64k words, right? If 64k words means 1k is equal to 1024, so 64k is equal to what? 64 into 1024. If you multiply it, you will be getting 65,536. So the address of memory cell, it varies from 0 to this particular value minus 1 means 65,535. This is the address of the memory cell. Right, And you must be aware that in the case of the computer systems, we need memory to store various types of information and whenever we require, we can retrieve the information also as per our requirement. And information that we can store into the memory, that data may be in the form of the audio, in the form of video, some documents may be there or it may be in the form of the text or images. So, data can be stored in various forms. Now, let us talk about the main memory, right? What is the main memory? Main memory is the central storage unit of any computer system and size of main memory. This is relatively large and it is very fast memory which is used to store programs and data during the computer operations. And the principal technology which is used for main memory that is based on the semiconductor integrated circuits. So you must be aware that main memory it is a faster memory and is of relatively large. Main memory may be of two types ROM and RAM. ROM is what read only memory and RAM is random access memory. So ROM is used to store programs permanently right uh, which are residing in the computer and ram chips are available as static and dynamic a static ram is what a static ram that essentially consists of some flip flops and which store the binary information one flip flop can store one bit of the information so static ram it is made of with the flip flops while dynamic ram store binary information in the form of the electric charges which are applied to the capacitors. It means most of the main memory, it is a general purpose computer, which is made up of RAM integrated chips, but a portion of memory can be constructed with ROM chips. Means main memory is being constructed by RAM and ROM both, but major portion is of RAM. Now let us talk about the semiconductor memory classification here you can see about the chart semiconductor memories basically it has been classified into two categories volatile and non-volatile let me tell you one by one volatile memory from the name itself it must be clear that volatile memories are those memories which store the data temporary means data can be volatile data is stored only till the power is on means once the power goes off whatever the data is being stored that will be lost in the case of the non-volatile means data is 
retain permanently even if the power supply is off it means here the data is stored on a permanent basis that is why this is known as a non volatile type of memory now again come to the volatile type volatile memory it is of two types sram and dram once again let me tell you about the ram what is ram ram is random access memory it is a volatile memory volatile means when the power supply is on data is available but when the power supply is for uh, off data will be lost means this memory is used for short time storage of data and it is of two types ram sram static ram so this is the static random access memory it has an array of flip flops and flip flops are used to store the data one flip flop store one bit of information means the memory cells contains flip flops which hold data until the power supply is on next is dram dynamic random access memory means it is also a read write memory which stores the data and here data is stored in the form of the charges charges in the capacitor right and transistor pairs between the memory cells what happen here stored charge takes some milliseconds to get dissipated therefore periodic refreshing of the elements is required so here uh, the data is stored in the capacitor in the form of the charges now come to the non volatile memory non volatile memory it is of two types rom and flash rom is what rom is read only memory means data can be read only we cannot write the data in the rom so here the memory array that is permanently programmed read only and this programming is done by the manufacturer or programmer only once during the manufacture it means the data cannot be changed or alter by the processor once it is programmed once it is programmed that will be retained we cannot alter it so there are various types of rom first is p rom p rom is programmable read only memory programmable read only memory means it is programmed by the users but they also offers reprogramming capability after erasing previously loaded information once we can uh, erase the information we can reload again and there basically two methods exist by which the content of rom can be erased come to the next which is ep rom ep rom it stands for erasable programmable read only memory it offers also reprogramming by erasing the previously stored data and here erasing previously stored data this is done by using ultraviolet rays so the memory erasing time it lies between 10 to 30 minutes you can understand how much time is required to erase the data third type of rom is eep rom which is electrically erasable programmable read only memory it means initially data is erased whatever the data is can is stored that can be erased we can program it but here the process of erasing data is done by applying external voltage but what happened somewhat uh, this actually increases the complexity of the overall system so what happened nowadays the latest version they provide the incorporation of power supply within the chip also so that the data can be erased next type of non volatile semiconductor memory is flash flash is of two types again nand and nor see flash memory it is almost similar to eep rom electrically erasable programmable read only memory which uses electrically uh, processor for erasing and flash memory also allows some selective erasers but means some of the information can be erased some selective information and selective writing of cell in some of the uh, like cells information can be rewrites in some of these cells information can be erased 
it is not happening that overall entire memory is going to be erased so the flash memory can write an entire block of cells at once and flash memory it also uses same voltage to write to read the memory to erase it and this also reduces the complexity of the overall circuit here complexity also reduces because with the help of only one voltage same voltage right multiple things can be done reading writing erasing so it reduces the complexity of the circuit and even this flash memory they consumes very less power so this is how you can explain the semiconductor memory classification here in this particular slide whatever i have explained it to you i have tried to list it out over here so you can take a note and you can explain the things accordingly thank you so much for watching this video